You can end a narcissist's life for good by telling them these words. Would you say just a few words to stop a narcissist? Luckily, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Then let's begin right away. Greetings, my wonderful friends. It's great to see you back for another educational video on my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to silence a narcissist with strong but brief language. People who are toxic are like a toddler dressed as an adult. They are impossible to deal with. Narcissists have incredibly low sense of morality, no empathy, a strong sense of entitlement, and no ability to set personal boundaries. When it comes to getting what they want, protecting their own interests, or getting an edge, they are true experts at manipulating others. Their sick plan is to make you take the hit, or they act like the victim, no matter how bad they are. When they act badly, bad things happen, and they don't seem to understand that they can be both victims and offenders. Do you not think it is a sad and strange situation? Watching these people go through life is both sad and interesting. We have to say, though, that they're not the friendliest people you meet. No matter how much they protest, the fact that they are emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually unhealthy stays the same. Because of all of these things, it is important to pick your battles wisely. The best way to deal with a destructive narcissist is sometimes to stay out of sight, avoid being around them, and quietly withdraw from the chaos. It looks like staying away is the best thing to do. Life is hard, so detachment isn't always possible or even possible right now. But don't worry, I have some great advice for you. The first step to permanently shutting down a narcissist is to emotionally separate yourself from their games. This will let you talk to them without letting their feelings get in the way. Stay calm and don't react to what they do. You need to keep your cool, even though it's hard. No matter how much they try to get you angry, don't lose your cool. You'll need to be strong, because it won't be easy. Take a few deep breaths to calm down when you're about to lose your cool. Then stand firm and refuse to give them the answer they want. You can find comfort in quiet reflection or honest friends who will listen and offer support if you need to talk about how you feel. When you're with a narcissist, disconnect emotionally. Stay away from their manipulative behavior and staged performances. Stop feeling guilty and tell them what you think about their behavior in a clear, concise way. This will stop them from doing it again. After this, they won't be able to bother you or play mind games with you. Narcissists don't want you to defend yourself, so you should know that. Answers like no or not interested are fine. Don't give in to their lies. Instead, try standing your ground. It makes sense that they would try to get you to feel something. Hold your ground and stay calm, no matter how uncomfortable it is. After you answer, give yourself a moment of silence. To show that you can't be controlled or managed, use your silence to your advantage. When someone says something saying, I understand, or let me think about it, can help you listen without getting caught up in their complicated drama. Say what you want to say in a short, clear way, and let your silence say a lot. You'll find it easier to use these strategies as you move forward on your path to healing and recovery. If you need help, you might want to sign up for one of my coaching programs. To set up a free meeting with me or one of my coworkers, just click on the link in the video's description. This is a chance for people who are willing to work on their own growth and recovery that much I want to make clear. If you really want to stop being hurt and confused by manipulative people who are always looking for something to blame on you, this is the way to do it. If this fits your search, please go to the URL given in the video's description. As you learn to use the power of stillness, you'll discover that it helps you stay away from toxic people, especially those who are narcissistic. Accept that silence can send a message. I'm not easy to get along with. I'm not going anywhere, and your attempts to change me will not work. I'll get back to you. You get it? Very good. I'm not saying you have to use those exact words, but it's important to think that way when you're around narcissists and change your mind as needed. It's also important to know that some strategies won't work in all situations. On the other hand, you can try phrases like, sure, it doesn't matter. No need to make a fuss. That's fine by me. Not a problem. I'm completely indifferent. 
It's one of my favorites. You've said enough, with a short pause. It might help you sound strong if you say, that's not going to happen, and then pause for a long time. Watch the narcissist's crushing sense of helplessness as they realize that their attempts to control others are failing. This plan is very important for stopping them for good. Keep your cool when things get tough. Answer straightforward and use silence to show that their tricks aren't working on you. They'll move on to something else when they've reached all of their possible targets. You can rest easy. Remember that we're not trying to make things worse by making things more tense. The goal is to keep things calm and do as little harm as possible. After that, don't lose your cool and don't be rude or sarcastic. Keep your cool and your resolve throughout the whole thing. Here are some more phrases that you might find useful. That's all right, think what you want. Your perspective is your own. You are entitled to your feelings. Let the silence cover up what's missing. The goal is to cut off the narcissist's electricity source, which is their attention. To quickly turn them off, say these words. No amount of falsehoods will alter the truth. After she said, you can't take out your pain on me anymore, there was a moment of peace. Tell people what your limits are by saying, I need to step in here. I humbly ask for your forgiveness. That's it. Move things around and take charge again if you can't just leave the problem alone. Noted is another strong response that works well. And this works especially well when they want you to argue or be negative with them. They can tell that you heard them even though you didn't answer the way you wanted to. When someone tries to get you to believe a lie, say something like this. That's outside the scope of my concern. It seems like a personal matter. Perhaps it's best kept to oneself. I think that point of view is interesting. How did you learn that to be true? I'm really interested. Here are some more phrases you might want to use. I have already addressed that question. I comprehend your viewpoint. Once they said I hear you, there was a moment of quiet thought. If you want to show that you are confused while asking, are you all right, is another option. If you act aggressively, they'll probably say yes. Say okay in a calm voice and let the silence speak for itself. Call yourself independent if nothing else works. I will not tolerate disrespectful communication. Don't back down from this claim. Instead, give off an air of authoritative authority. Remember to stay calm and determined and let the silence tell you what to do. If the narcissist is being hard to deal with, you can say, shall we meet again when you are in a better mood? After which they go their separate ways. If they start to blame you for their own mistakes and speak badly about what they did, stay calm. Instead, you should ask, do you hear what you are saying? Contemplate your words. Remember that you don't need to give more information. You could also say, I will overlook it this time, but refrain from repeating this behavior. By saying this, you're giving them a chance to make things right. In the event that they insist, you will make some room. Most likely, they will test you, so be ready to do what they say you will do. When you're in a tense situation, try saying things like, let us halt before matters escalate. You may want to reconsider your tone. I believe you should reevaluate your words. You can make them less powerful by, that is your perception, but I'm aware of my true self. Your thoughts and comments about me are out of my hands. That makes me think that's wrong. Are you planning to start a fight? Is that your goal then, to stay quiet on purpose? Just say what they said again, beginning with I hear you saying. Most of the time, this makes them see how silly their words are, even if they don't want to admit it. Also have them say what they just said again before you let them hear it. Say something like, that's what I thought I heard. Besides that, you can also pick from the following. I respectfully disagree with your viewpoint. Interesting perspective, but we don't share the same opinion. I acknowledge your point, but it doesn't alter my perspective. Simply, I comprehend. Those are your prerogatives. It's too bad you're unhappy. We can talk when you're ready. Say these things when you need to be strict. That subject is off limits. I refuse to accept any guilt tripping or playing the victim anymore. This discussion is non-negotiable. I won't partake. 
Refuse with a firm no or no thank you. Good. Have a great rest of the day. It's time for me to leave. Another choice is to say, I understand that you're angry, but shouting and making threats won't resolve anything. This plan doesn't make sense to me emotionally. I'm fine with the idea that we might have different points of view. Our recollections differ, and that's permissible. Remember that when you do that, you give other people the freedom to make up lies about you. People don't understand you, and you don't defend yourself or clear things up for them. This seems strong and full of power. You can ignore what other people say and do when you know who you really are. That, my friend, is exactly what it means to be independent and make your own decisions. The video is over. By making this YouTube channel, I hope to show you how narcissistic abuse can hurt you and give you the tools you need to get over it. You will have a life of happiness, confidence, freedom, and plenty when you reach the end of this path.